So with me, I have Dr. Benjamin Asonka. He is the head of department for the department also. Mr. Joseph Akanyako, he is a lecturer in the senior lecturer in the department. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for joining me this morning. Good morning, General. Good morning. Great. Thanks for seeing you and good morning to the listeners out there. And a very happy new year to the both of you <laughs> since you. we're coming into the new Thank year. Thank you. Many happy returns. Very well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Department of Marketing in the Bogatanga Technical University. I'll begin with you, HOD. Um, when was this department established? Can you tell us briefly what the department entails when it was established? And then we'll take it up from there. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, this department was established as the Department of Marketing in the then Bolgatanga Polytechnic okay. in the year 2003. Mm. So that took care of the 2003-2004 academic year. Mm. It began with uh, six staff who were, sorry, three staff who were lecturers mm. and then 27 students. And we have evolved from there. And so things have changed and we have also seen the need to make some changes and okay. so we are actually transforming. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So why then the, the transformation to, I, I know you've now added communications to it. Yes. Why this new addition or this fusion of communication and marketing? Okay, thank you very much, Gerald. Mm -hmm. um, we all agree that things have evolved. Mm -hmm. At a point, the HND marketing syllabus have become a little outmoded okay. because things have evolved. We are now in a digital world. Sure. And then everything in about business has gone digital. Mm -hmm. And if you have to sit down and still do things traditionally, you are likely to miss out. And so we saw the need to do our syllabus and fashion them alongside what industry needs. Okay. In line with uh, the vision of the Technical University, okay. BTU, okay. to have hands-on training for our students so that when they come out, they are prepared graduates for the, mm -hmm. for the job market that can fit into industry. And so because of this, we decided to add the communication components to it. Um, I can proudly say that this is the first ever combination of such manner in the whole country. Okay. All right, we have looked around the syllabus and uh, the courses across the universities mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. realized that this is the first time we are combining marketing with communications. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good combination. Um, when the officials came from NAPTEX, okay. they mm -hmm. actually wanted to bully us because Mm. They have realized that even big universities have not done this com combination. <laughs> and then you, mm. a small technical <clears throat> university, want to do this kind of combination. They really wanted to be sure that we are prepared for this. And we showed them the, all the evidence that we were prepared for this, including the faculty that we have. Wow. And so they agreed with us that we will be able to run this course. Mm. And so because of our era, the era that we are inside, we decided to add this bit of communication to it sure. so that you are not just trained to be a marketer but of course a communicator mm. so that you are versatile mm. and you can fit into many areas mm. as far as the digital world is concerned. Mm. Interesting. Um, let me come to you, Dr. Kanya, Mr. Kanyaku. Um, in, in Doc's submission, he talks about fusion, meaning the courses are designed in a way that students can, can, can fit well in the job market. Could you run us through a bit of the courses um, that, that, that we can that a prospective um, applicant should look out for um, if they apply to your communications department. Thank you very much, mm. Mr. Gerard. As my boss uh, just, uh, explained, mm. uh, in the first place, uh, marketing and communication studies, I will call it a two-edged sword program mm. that uh, when you get enrolled, you don't find yourself wanting as far as the job market is concerned. Okay. So briefly, I want to say that when you come in there, any other course that you can think of that communication takes, you will find it there. Okay, we have an aspect of public relations. Okay, and uh, any communication courses mm. that will prepare you for the job market is in there. Okay, and as he said, we blend with marketing. Mm. Uh, so you see that. Uh, marketing in itself may not be a very strong force, mm. uh, as I said, in the digital economy these days. Yeah. So the communication aspect becomes the driving force. And so you come there, and uh, we also take you an aspect of uh, 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 social marketing, okay, apart from the, the, the communication uh, courses that we're taking there. Uh, you know that marketing these days cut across mm. every, mm. every... Yeah, every, every, every media. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so yes, briefly, yes. I want to say that as far as the courses are concerned, you can think of mm. advertising, mm. you can think of public relations, uh, and some aspect of media studies. It's a combination and, and well-taught, prepared 
causes mm. put together mm. uh, that when you come out of it mm. you will not find yourself wanting okay and uh, you, you as far as the job uh, market is concerned mm. uh, i believe you will find yourself fixed somewhere mm. thank mm. you very well so <laughs> let me just ask something a little to what my colleague had just said sure. i think it's a very good question you asked mm. somebody called me yesterday and asked that oh this combination of marketing and communication is just is it just an aspect of english you are adding to your marketing <laughs> and i said no mm. it is actually, a lot of people are aware of com skills uh -huh. and they are tempted to believe it so yes. it's just english component fused into marketing so, so this issue about the courses mm. you see uh it is not just about the english components okay. um we have courses in development communication we are going into social change communication oh, okay. and then of course we have um just community engagement is mm. very important. Mm. Uh, we can see in our contemporary world there are a lot of issues around our communities that we are dealing with. Most of them have to do with communication. Sure. See issues sure. of bush burning, mm. uh, the issue of nomadic herdsmen, and then the engagement with the community. Mm. In fact, the public service needs this kind of programs to be able to engage with the general the public very well. Okay. So if you have be, to be able to, if you are able to learn all these things, community engagement becomes very easy for you. And so let's not think about it as just adding a component of English okay. and communication okay. skills to it, but it's okay. actually a comprehensive communication program we are running. Also included is visual communication. Mm. All right, for those who are going digital, digital. we can see that a lot of individuals yeah. these, try to promote their business mm. online, mm. but the interface that you are using alone can be attractive sure. to people who would want to come and do business for you or else somebody can just pass through and then just skip it because mm. the interface alone does not really attract the person's attention. So this aspect of visual communication too can help people promote their business. Because oh, wow. we are not just training people to come and look for jobs, mm. we are also training job creators. Great, great, right. great, 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 great. What, 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 you've already told us what they should look out for um, in coming in to apply, but who then is qualified to apply for this program? Okay, thank you very much. So, um, as we said earlier, you know, we have the courses at different levels. Mm. We have the HND marketing, we have diploma, and then of course we have the BSc, that's mm. Bachelor of Science okay. in Marketing and Communication oh, So it's Bachelor of Science? Yeah, Bachelor, oh, of, bachelor Science. of Technology. Yes. Okay. Or bachelor of Technology, top okay. up. Top up. Yes. Okay. So the Bachelor of Science begins from level 100, you can also come into level 300 for, to do a top up. Mm. So if you want to come into level 100, if you are a WASI holder, you need to have that is for the uh, degree mm. you need to have six passes that is from a1 to c6 okay and three course core and then of course the electives mm. english math and social studies or integrated science and then if you are ssc older we expect passes from a to d mm. and of course gbce that's general business certificate exams we expect that you have at least uh, six passes including the core okay. english math social studies or the science there are also those who have the CT vet. We expect passes from there if you have six passes, okay. including your core and then, of course, the electives. You qualify to get direct entry into the BSc program. Okay. Of course, we also do mature application. Okay. If you are 25 years and above, mm. and, then, and then you have five passes in your WASIS SSCE mm. or O level, then you come in and write a, a, a mature entrance exam. To be able to actually accepted into the degree program okay okay now for those who are going to do the top up from level 300 we expect that you have a higher national diploma in marketing or related courses okay communication courses mm. public relations and so on mm. and of course if you are coming from a different background and you have certain work experience in relation to marketing yeah, you can be accepted mm. all right and then we have those who are coming with our qualifications in the professional background that okay. is sim uk that's chartered mm. institute of marketing uk mm. or the chartered institute of marketing ghana if you have a diploma you are qualified to come and join us in level 300 mm. of course with at least two years working experience all right so that is for the the degree the bsc when it comes to the hnd if you have um six passes a a1 to d7 okay in the core and then of course the, the electives the electives mm. you are you are you are qualified for direct entry okay and then for the diploma we expect that you have four passes mm. including math and english okay so that you can come and then do the diploma for two years and then continue with the degree okay so these are just 
simply put some of the qualifications that we look out for. Okay. I'll let my colleague also add a link. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know, is it just regular or you have um, other scheduled um, learning options where applicants can choose on, uh, can choose from? Do you have just regular programs? Do you run just regular programs? Do you have part-time programs? Do you have weekend programs or evening classes that um, these applicants are, are free to choose from? In fact, you, you, what you said, any of them okay. is available. Okay. Uh, the top-up program especially is a weekend program. Okay. So, and it is not so flexible said that certain times lecturers uh, are able to jaw jaw with the students mm -hmm. uh, to find suitable time that they can uh, uh, take the program. Okay. Uh, you know, often uh, those who come for the top up are uh, those who are working. Sure. And so we make sure that we satisfy that aspect too. Okay. Uh, with the diploma program, mm -hmm. the public relations media studies mm -hmm. is all the same. Uh, as far as the time is concerned, mm -hmm. we make it so flexible. Okay. Uh, and so then we have also have the regular. Uh, the regular where we take uh, just like any other student okay. so briefly we have the weekend weekend uh, 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 period okay. for our students then we have the regular okay. so whichever uh, we are made it so flexible so that students that enroll mm. can have that kind of arrangement with the lecturers okay. so that they can carry on their mm. studies mm. Uh, for, I mean, uh, conveniently one 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 misconception or maybe a question that comes up with students who want to apply for either part-time or top-up is that are the certificates different um, on it will it be indicated part-time will it be indicated regular or the certificates are the same not at all hmm. the syllabus for both regular they are the same okay the credit hours are the same okay so there's nothing like uh, trying to put on uh, the certificate that you did uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 part time, no, mm -hmm. that isn't there mm -hmm. at all. Well. The importance is that you've taken the course, you've taken the required number of credits, mm -hmm. and after the program, you awarded your certificate. Okay. If it's BSc, BSc Marketing and Communications. Mm -hmm. If it's Diploma in Marketing uh, Media Studies, as it is. Okay. Yeah. Very well. Um, one um, aside, one of the selling propositions of your your thing, as you've indicated, is the is the is the is the the, the new natureness of your course, and also the the staff available staff you have in your department. But students look out for other things. Maybe they want a state of the art um, finished laboratory or learning environment. Can you talk to us about um, the state of the art laboratories or equipment you have in the in your department to facilitate um, the new learning process that students should look out for? Okay, thank you. Hmm. So as we mentioned earlier, we are looking at the fact that we are in the digital world. Sure. And so when it comes to the equipment, um, we can boast of something very appreciable okay because we have um a, a computer laboratory okay that we use to train our students on the digital aspects of our course great and then when you come inside um the learning environment is conducive for you to be able to learn cool. and just as he said we have a campus in town that you can do evening and weekend classes mm. you can also come to some Bongo campus if you want to do full time but as for the facilities we can boast of certain facilities that we have to be able to train people a quality state of the art okay. as we even said so that we can train people and then they can adapt to the environment that we mm. are actually operating inside mm. yeah mm. Yeah, right. Now let's let's look at um, the services that you provide aside the teaching and learning okay. um, services from the from the department. Are there other services you want us to know uh, that the university or the department offers aside um, the teaching and learning? All right, thank you. Um, Aside teaching and learning, yes, sir. we also provide services to our community. Okay. You know, this is an academic institution. Mm -hmm. And so, for our department, you know, in this era, customer service is very, very important. So, what we do is we organize trainings, uh, short run courses, mm -hmm. periodically, to train people on how to do community engagement, how to do customer service properly. And some institutions engage us to train their people, okay. basically on customer service, on community engagement, public relations, mm -hmm. and we also develop models that suit the need of this community um, of institutions. So, if any institution out there wants to get their people trained in customer service, 
in this kind of world that we are customer service drives a lot of things mm. all right mm. customer satisfaction is always key in everything we do and so if you want to train be it an ngo in the public sector everywhere mm. hospitality industry uh, if you call upon us we come develop models that suit your purpose and then of course we train your people in that line mm. it, it is very good people have given us a lot of good feedback on mm. that one mm. and i think if you engage us we can do a, a proper job for you very well. and then your customers will be happy when we train your people to serve them mm. one 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 thing that comes up has to do with uh, job placement um, i had a, a gentleman approach me recently um, to find out he, i was in engagement with him i asked what program he intends to study in the university so he's gotten an admission to study marketing mm. there so congratulations then the next question that came out from me is is there a job for me if i come out because i understand marketing they, they don't really have employable opportunities like that available say so could you help us understand are there job opportunities for students um, who study marketing um, from your university okay so this is a question that comes out or comes up regularly mm -hmm. um, it is actually a misconception okay and you see that is why we have tried to shift or do a drift from the, the traditional form of marketing to okay. combination of marketing and communication mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. you can be equipped for the digital world mm -hmm. Uh, this kind of course is designed to make you so flexible okay. that you can fit into any area that you find yourself and so as we said earlier in the public sector in the services sector you see that uh, previously companies in the public sector were not making use of marketing expertise mm -hmm. but now they do okay. the public sector uh, if you think about even VRA Netco if you think about um, Ghana Water Company they used not to think along these lines but they have now started setting up and they are employing a lot of marketing expertise to man their marketing for them because the world is now a competitive world you might think that you are doing the right thing now and you are getting attention but the attention is shifting because the world is not that stable so the training that we are giving to our students at the end of every year they go out for practical training okay. which is compulsory for every student mm -hmm. that one exposes you to the practical world okay. and to the industry so that you get to learn some of these things before you even come out. Now, it doesn't really end there. Mm. We had said earlier that we are not really just training job seekers, but we are training people who can come out and be job creators. Sure. And so you realize that if you want to do any business or you want to do a self-employment, mm. there is no way you can succeed without any expertise in marketing. Mm. It, is, it is done everywhere. This is an established fact. And so... Let's not just always be thinking about getting employed. Of, of course, be able to be employed, self-employed and create jobs as well. Mm. But as for employment, with this kind of combination, um, you, are, you are good to go. You can fit into any kind of industry. Yeah, right. And people shouldn't be afraid. They should come. At the, they, when they come, then they will see the, imp the impact that they, it can make in their lives. Okay. Of course, the lives of every organization. Mm. So if you are also an organization out there and then you have, don't have kind of expertise in this area, you can send your people, train them, and then you will see the difference they will make in sure. your in your organization. Very well. Yeah. Very well. Let's let's look at um, the the application process. Right. Um, now we've heard a good things about the the Boga Technical Tanga Technical University, and then the Marketing and Communications Department. How can I get an application form? Is it even available? And how is the admission process like? Um, Doc, uh, sir, Mr. Mr. Joseph, if you can help us with that. <laughs> Where you. can we get some of the forms from? I thank you. I think uh, if you can get to the university, okay. uh, the cash office, uh, you get a voucher there. Okay. You can also apply online. Okay. And uh, we have got contacts okay. that is uh, from the department. Mm where uh, especially the HOD mm -hmm. and my very self, mm -hmm. we can facilitate a quick uh, process of the admissions. Okay. So basically we have got two <coughs> forms. Okay. Buying the, the hard copy from the, the voucher from the cash mm. office mm. and also applying online. Mm. Is admission yeah. yes, is admission yeah. instant or it takes a pro while to of process. Of course. Okay. When you apply and your processes go through this time they will give you just you get a message. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So um as you mentioned earlier, you can get the forms at every regional post office wherever you find yourself. Mm. And then of course the regional post office here. And then you can also get from the Zenith Bank, 
and then the consolidated bank Ghana. Okay. You can go there and buy your e-voucher and apply online. Mm. Then there is a short code for admission. Mm. All right. So the short code is star nine six six mm. star three star three zero nine six hash. If you dial this short code, you can get through the system by the form for the program that you desire, mm. and of course you go online and apply mm. for the program. Can you can you give us the short code again? Yes. Yeah. So it is star nine six six star three star three zero nine six okay. hash. hash when you dial this one you can get a phone to buy at the convenience of your home okay you can get it to buy yeah, right. or if you want to be sure there are people who say that no this system they might not trust it just go mm. to the post mm. office or the zenith bank or consolidated bank ghana okay. you can get a form mm. to buy how much is the form being sold at uh you will get a form for 150 ghana cities okay that's if you are coming in for the regular okay right and so the price is between 150 cities and 140 cities, okay. depending on the kind of program you are going to, to offer. apply for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very well. So if um, if you are a listener, um, this is the Bogatanga Technical University representatives or uh, the head of department from the marketing and communications department in the Technical University, um, selling to us the department and why you need to apply to the school if you if you intend going to. Uh, for higher education or um, if you're also a matured student who wants to go in for further education why you should choose the marketing and communication um, as a course it's a new blend that promises um, good things for those who opt in to study that program. So you are listening to us. Um, I'm here in studio with Dr. Benjamin Asunka. He is the head of Department of the Marketing and Communications Department and also Mr. Joseph Akanyako, who is a senior lecturer in the same department engaging us with us there. We'll be bringing the conversation to an end, Doctor. But um, finally, why must I choose Bogatanga Technical University, especially marketing and communication sure okay so before i answer that question let me just quickly add something sure um <clears throat> for those who are thinking of courses that are going to be mounted as we go on Good. um for now we have a diploma in public relations and media studies mm. and then from next academic year onwards we shall be mounting a bsc that's the degree in public relations and media studies okay so if you are into the practice of media or uh, public relations mm. you can come and do this course just to solidify your your your, your position okay of course and enrich your cv so that you can go further mm. and then you realize that um earlier when i was talking about the job uh, in fact something escaped me a little okay you know this media studies uh people from Bulga here most of the time want to go down to kumasi and Accra mm. to be able to train as a journalist mm. And so you see the kind of combination we are bringing again. Some people are just doing media studies, others are communication. Some people do PR. Yeah. We have decided to combine the PR with the media studies. Mm -hmm. So if you want to become a journalist and also work in the radio station or any other kind mm -hmm. of facility that mm -hmm. has to do with media, um, you can come and do this course. It will help you. All right. In the Upper East region here, we could see journalists, we, we, we really need more journalists. Sure. And so that we can, we can progress as a region. Mm -hmm. And proudly to say that one of our students won the most promising journalist of the year mm. at the GGA mm. Awards. Yeah. Uh, that, mm. that, is, that is very remarkable. Mm. And so if you want to train in this direction, the best place for you to come is the Borga Technical University. Just to tie it with the question you asked. Yeah. This is the combination we have. You won't get it in other kind of universities. Mm. So when you come, this is what you are going to get. Besides, if you are in the region here, easy access of course uh accommodation is not as expensive mm -hmm. as you get it when you go down south of course you have to travel down south go and then rent accommodation that's very expensive here it is even moderate and people always say they want to go down south because of the whatever you want down south it is here mm -hmm. uh, faculty is just good mm -hmm. we have people who can handle these courses and they are as competitive as any other person outside there all right if you check 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 for the profiles of our faculty mm. you can check for it yeah we are just as competitive as the people outside there so Bogatanga Polytechnic uh, Technical University offers a unique opportunity mm. for those of us here up north here surrounding regions and of course those even down south there they can come up and then take these courses 
and they will benefit from it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There's what before we, 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 we conclude the discussion. One of the things students always look out for is the the interpersonal relation between lecturers and students. Okay. How is that like in your in your in your department especially? How comfortable okay. would you describe as students approaching lecturers and lecturers approaching students? Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, as for this one, I think if we had more time, some of our former students would have called in to con mm. confirm this. I'm a former student. You are a former student. <laughs> of, course, of course, you can confirm this. In fact, I mentioned, and then I forgot to mention that one of our former students is the one hosting this program. <laughs> and, it is, and he's asking the questions. So you can even see from the way he presents that mm. um, he is a product of the university and then he is doing very well. He's on mm. top of his job. Mm. Um, so this, these are the things. Uh, the human relations, as you can testify, in the department is yeah. just good. Yeah. Um, we have that kind of relationship with our students. This, uh, my colleague sitting here, mm. Mr. Joe Akanyako, is our department counselor. Um, we don't just teach students, we also try to form them. Okay. It's a formation process. So if there are any issues, conf uh, we are confronting personal issues. Mm. Students normally are comfortable coming to us to lay their personal issues be before us and we see how we can we can help them. Mm. So for personal relationship, uh, you can we can guarantee you that one. Yeah, right. Very good. Uh, it is not like that. There's when we are going around uh, talking. There's a secondary school we go to. There are about three or four that we encountered. Mm. You go there and see how the teacher shouts at the students. Mm. Then we say, oh, okay, this is what happens here. Uh, want to put some fear in you, but when we come to the university, it is not like that. Okay. All right. We we know that every student has a different ability of learning. And then, of course, students need to be formed. So mm -hmm. you actually approach them, talk to them in a lovely manner. And of course, you come to certain consensus. So we don't do the shouting and then get out and then all those. No, no, no. Uh, we, we actually have a good relationship with the, with the student. Very well. There was a time we called upon a form of our former students who are working in the industry to come and talk to those who are already there. And mm. they were very happy to come wow. because of that kind of relationship we have to them, okay. with them. Mm. And so when they came, they really helped us a lot. And so they can testify, just as you have testified. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. We have to wrap up the conversation. Uh, yeah. It's been an interesting conversation. Mr. Mr. Joe, um, in your, your closing bite for this entire conversation we've had about the department and why students should should opt to be closer, should opt for Bogatanga Technical University, especially marketing and communication. I didn't even ask, is it just for what... If I study science in the senior high school, but I want to do marketing, if I do home economics, I want to do market. Can I, is it still open to me? Or you just want to, you, know, you just look for admissions for students who did purely business? How, what course from senior high schools are open to apply to your, for your program? Thank you. Mm. In fact, for marketing, mm. uh, one is not restricted to the type of program he or she offered at the WASI level. Okay. And okay. When you come from the scratch, okay. we train you as a marketer and as a communicator. Okay. I want to also add that Borga Technical University is a conducive place to learn. Mm. Management is opening up, administrative setup well established, mm. faculty is in place. Mm. And so when you come there, whatever it takes to make you feel comfortable to go through the process and to learn is there. Okay. Uh, it's a place that when you come. And let me also ask, uh, add, mm. you know, go in those days, it was said that if you study marketing, you could not join the military, the security mm -hmm. services. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, it's not as, as it used to be. Okay. Uh, when you get to the security services, that aspect of communication is very, very key. Sure. So as my boss said, with the marketing and communications, these two blend. Put you in a better position mm. that mm. when you present it, mm. uh, the institution will say that well, this is the color of people we need. Wow. So I want to encourage our younger ones, mm. those within the region, Polgar Tenka University is the best place to go. Mm. We want to grow our university as well. So we are encouraging our younger ones that if they want to buy a form, they should pick Polgar Tenka University and more specifically. Department of Marketing and Communication Studies. Sure. Very well. Doctor, your final bite on this conversation. So in the closing remarks, I would encourage everybody out there to consider coming into the Volga Technical University 
and of course in the department of marketing and communications mm -hmm. and for those out there who are wondering about the qualification we have mentioned and you think that you might not have qualified um you can call on us so that we'll see how we can help sure, you let's because, have the numbers yes so that, yeah. there are there are catalyst courses there are uh, conditional admissions mm. that we give subject to certain conditions that okay. you will have to meet okay. as specified by the registrar of the university mm. so if you think you are not having this kind of qualifications you still call us we'll guide you to be able to see how, how why you can do, do don't sit at home and be writing wasi mm. or go down south to go and write wasi mm. or take results and come back just come and then we'll see what we can do sure. So yeah, your numbers so that yes. our listeners can um, you can call zero five five four five six four zero seven seven or zero two zero zero six zero three three nine zero. Great, 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 great. Um, we are very grateful for your time, Dr. Uh, Masunka Benjamin, and also Mr. Joseph Akanyako for coming through and engaging with us this morning. Um, it's been it's been a pleasure. Uh, but I uh, this is a question just run through. Do you have do you run any professionally affiliated programs? Uh, maybe chartered Institute of marketing programs. So, do you do you have such programs or not yet oh not yet okay. we don't have it yet but we are in talking terms and we are actually talking to the same Ghana Good. to see how we can inculcate their programs into our courses so that when somebody graduates the person can get a lot of exemptions okay besides we want to see in future we'll start running those courses here sure. so that they sure. will do the certification so very we are in talks with them to also see what also do about that. i'm very grateful for your time gentlemen and i wish you the best um there you have it um dr benjamin asunka he's the head of department marketing and communications at the bogatanga technical university and mr joseph akanyako he is a senior lecturer in the department of marketing and communication in the bogatanga technical university selling to us the marketing and communication department of the University 